Did you know that you're made up of two people? One that sees and the other that wants to be seen. One that hears and the other that wants to be heard. If you could just stand still for a moment, watch and listen, you might just be able to see both of them at once. That moment when one of them sees the other is the beginning of a lifelong journey of giving and receiving love for yourself. It is the most serene, vulnerable, and compassionate you will ever be with yourself. If you've never experienced this before, I recommend you try this at home today. Just stand in front of the mirror for five minutes, watch yourself slowly and intently. Watch your face, watch your eyes, smile at yourself, say hello. If it feels strange, it's okay. It's usually awkward with strangers. The more time you spend with yourself, the more comfortable you will get. Hi, I'm Priyanka Bhardwaj. I'm the founder and CEO of Marriage for Karanti, which is a matrimonial advisory service. We enable informed partner choices and help people build meaningful relationships. On this channel, we talk about love, dating, relationships, and marriages. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about self-love and why it's so important. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to embark on that journey of loving yourself. For most of us, self-love isn't love at first sight. It is the sort of love that takes a very long time to grow. But that doesn't make it any less special. It is the sort of love that enables us to give and receive love unconditionally, not just to a few loved ones, but to a wider circle of people. But loving yourself is a very slow and deliberate journey. It involves learning about yourself, acknowledging who you are, and also intentionally developing a language to express love to yourself. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a method to learn more about yourself. This method has very carefully been designed based on conversations with several people who are on the same journey as you. Have you ever heard of mind maps? Today, I'm going to help you create one about yourself so that this can help you learn more about yourself. First, take a blank sheet of paper. Think about how you would introduce yourself in a room full of people you don't know. You might talk about where you're from, you might talk about what you do, or where you stand. You usually try to find a way to make yourself relatable to people around you, while keeping the description fully objective. So think about the things that you would say, or the words that you would use to describe yourself, and start putting them around right in the center of the sheets. It could be something like this, for instance. Now, think about some of your closest friends over the years. Friends from childhood, friends from college, friends from work. What adjectives would they use to describe you? Think about four to five adjectives that really stand out in terms of the things that your friends have said about you and put them on this piece of paper. Once you're done with that, put that piece of paper away and do the same thing with your family. What do your parents say about you? What do your siblings say about you? What are the parts of your identity that have been strongly shaped by what your family has observed about you over the years? Next, I'd like you to try this with your past relationships. If you've been in romantic relationships before, do the same exercise with your past girlfriends or boyfriends. What would they say about you? If you've never been in a relationship before, it's okay. You don't have to worry. You can skip this exercise. Last, but in no way the least, I now invite you to try this exercise with yourself. Take another piece of paper, put you in the center. What are adjectives that you would use to describe yourself that are a core part of your identity? And in a lot of cases, this could be a bunch of things that nobody else knows about you, but you believe that this is who you fundamentally are. Now I'd like you to bring all the pieces of paper together, put you right in the center and place everything else around you like this. Now I'd like you to take a good look at what you have right in front of you. 
I'd like you to think about who you think you are, who others think you are, and explore where the boundaries between the two lie. Next week, we're going to take this identity map a step further by exploring things that make you really proud of who you are and things that you want to work on to be a better version of yourself. This is going to lay a great foundation for building acceptance and acknowledgement of who you are and then intentionally developing a language to loving yourself. If you enjoyed watching this week's video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so by clicking the bell icon below. I'm also going to leave a link to the website, Marriage Broker Auntie. Please visit the website and learn more about what we do. If you have any thoughts, feedback, questions, comments, anything at all, please feel free to leave them below and we'd be very happy to engage with you. So see you next week.